everyone. I'm Kazuma Taka uh, from University of Hyogo. And the presentation is an efficient strategy to construct a better differential on multiple branch-based designs application to all those. Uh, features, uh, features a joint work with Tatsuya Ishikawa, Kosei Sakamoto, and Takanori Isobe. First, we will introduce an overview of the technical contributions uh, obtained by our research results. Our proposed method involves uh, using the SAT solver uh, to automatically evalu evaluate the clustering effect in multiple branch uh, based designs. We applied this method to improve the security bound of authors against differential cryptanalysis. Our results show a significant improvement, increasing the probability of a differential corresponding to the optimal differential characteristic from uh, this value to this value. We evaluated the, the uh, lightweight 128-bit cipher or draws and its in internal function, uh, branch one and branch two, uh, using a, a SAS solver and presented the result in a table. We performed active SBOX e evaluation and determined optimal differential characteristics for each construction, uh, updating the uh, security boundary to 11-11-8 rounds. Our evaluation of uh, differential characteristics uh, successfully derived optimal uh, differential characteristics uh, of a uh, 128 PRF is an uh, input space of 2 to the 128S, uh, updating the security boundary to 10-10-7 rounds for each construction. Uh, table shows the result of our, resu uh, our method in comparison with the previous distinguished attack to Authors. Okay, uh, this is my plan for the presentation. First of all, uh, I will tell you uh, background and motivation. Uh, then I will explain how to exploit the inherent trait of multiple branch based designs uh, to, uh, cl uh, to clustering effects. Then I will show you experimental results and co uh, conclude the talk. A differential is a pair of input and output differences. The probability of a differential, a differential a delta P delta C is calculated as the formula uh, above. Where P are chosen uh, from a uniformly uh, distributed random variable. A differential characteristic is a sequence of differences over all rounds in a block cipher EK as formula below, where C0, C1 to CR denotes differences of the, uh, the out of, uh, output of each round. Uh, that is, uh, C0 and CR denotes differences of a uh, plain text and cipher text, respectively. The probability of a uh, differential characteristics C is estimated as formula below. A weight W is a negative value of the, bin uh, of the binary logarithm of the differential probability DP defined it as formula below. In order to derive more accurate uh, differential probabilities, the clustering effect of correcting uh, single characteristics that share the same input and output differences uh, becomes important. Uh, we shall now elucidate the reason that uh, led us to consider the nece necessity of conducting this research. Uh, we know that the previous strategy works well single branch-based designs. Uh, 
uh, when considering a multiple branch based design, the internal state size is, uh, in increases proportionately to the number of branches, uh, which makes the computational cost of the uh, evaluation expensive. Uh, can we achieve a feasible and maximum probability improvement in a realistic evaluation time? Uh, the strategy for uh, resolving this issue will be expre explicated in the following chapter. First, we will uh, organize the construction of the target subject that we envision, uh, which is, is a multiple branch based design, uh, design cipher uh, represented by the formula in the lower right. Uh, we repeatedly solve a SAT, solve, uh, SAT problem to evaluate the clustering effect, which is the most time consuming part of the process. The cost of each invocation, invocation dep depends on, on the number of cruises and variables. However, uh, these numbers uh, do not vary, uh, vary uh, significantly among di different evaluation uh, methods for, se for the same design. Uh, as they they are typically common across methods. Hence, uh, we introduced the number of the uh, number of in invocation of a SAT solver to evaluate it, the clustering effect as a new metric as the uh, de definition below. In multiple best designs, the computational cost becomes expensive. So we propose a new strategy in order to solve the problem. The essence of our strategy is to independently evaluate, evaluate the clustering effect in each branch and then cost, construct the, uh, differential characteristics for an uh, entire design using these results. Uh, this is an image diagram uh, of our strategy. Multiple branch-based designs have a trait where each, des uh, each differential characteristic in each branch uh, corresponds to, to all different uh, differential characteristics in other branches uh, under the same input and output differences. By leveraging this we can evaluate the clustering effect of an n-branch based design with a preferred optimal differential characteristic obtaining this equation, a differential characteristic when the number of sat equal n sat in each branch. Uh, this is an algorithm of our method. Uh, this is a bit hard to understand, so I'll explain it step by step. Our method has five step approach. Step one, uh, search for all set of output differences in each branch. Uh, step two, uh, count uh, the number of differential characteristics with D0, Di out. Uh, this procedure is virtually equivalent to uh, evaluating the clustering effect on, on uh, D in, D uh, out, J. Uh, step three, uh, construct the differential characteristics with D in, D out by uh, combining the differential characteristics found for each, uh, each branch in step two. Uh, we can calculate their probabi probability by multiplying the probability of uh, differential characteristics in each branch. Uh, 
uh, step four calculates the probability of a differential uh, d in d out. The probability can be calculated by a sum of the probability of all differen differential characteristic constructed in step three. Uh, step five, uh, repeat, uh, repeat steps one to four with in incrementing the weight from uh, uh, weight double mean given given in step one. Uh, from here, we will explain in the uh, result of actually applying the method explained earlier to authors. Autos is uh, proposed at TOSC FSE uh, two, uh, 2021 by Vanik et al. and a 128-bit low latency uh, PRF. Autos uh, consists of two 128-bit uh, uh, keyed permutations, branch one and branch two. The encryption algorithm of Autos is expressed as C equal uh, E1 uh, KM X1 E2 KM. Uh, that is, ciphertext is X1 of the outputs of branch one and branch two. Uh, round function is uh, shown uh, below. Uh, by conducting a uh, bit level evaluation, uh, we have demonstrated uh, optimal differential characteristics and the ability to update the security margin one round uh, further than the designer's AS based evaluation. We evaluated the clustering effect of seven round optimal differential characteristic of all tools by the general and our method. Uh, for a uh, fair comparison, we apply the identical differential characteristic to both methods and uh, compare their efficiency in, term of, in terms of how much we can uh, enhance the probability of a given differential the number of SAT and the practical runtime. Both methods improve the uh, probability of a distinguished attack from several rounds to uh, six rounds uh, due to the clustering effect. The, uh, the general method increases the probability uh, uh, this value. One, uh, sorry, uh, our method achieved uh, about 90% and 90-90% reduction in the number of SAT and runtime, respectively, uh, compared to the general method. Our method primarily solves a SAT model expressing a differential propagation in one branch, while the general method uh, Solve the, uh, solve the uh, uh, SAT model expressing a uh, differential propagation in the whole design. As the number of branch, uh, branches increases, the proposed method becomes uh, more advantageous in terms of efficiency. Our method investigates the clustering effect in each branch starting from weight zero for a fair comparison with the general method. However, by using, uh, uh, by using knowledge of the minimum weight of each branch, we can improve our approach by initiating the, the evaluation, evaluation of clustering effect at the minimum weight of each branch this maximizes the probability of a given differential by utilizing the information of 
minimum weight of each branch and the optimal selection of W alpha. This table shows the result of this optimization with W alpha equal uh, 15. And we can further improve the probability from uh, this value to this value. Uh, this table shows the result of our method in comparison with the previous distinguished attack to autos. I conclude the, uh, this presentation. We, we propose a new search based automatic search method for evaluating the clustering effect in the multiple branch based designs. We improved the designer security bound of authors against the differential crypto analysis. Our method is a significant improvement, uh, raising the probability of a differential, differential corresponding to the optimal differential characteristic from uh, this value to this value. Thank you for attention. Hello, everyone. My report title is Rotational EXO Differential Rectangle Cryptanalysis on Simulink Ciphers. This is a joint work with Si Weichen, Yun Xiang, Ren Qin Xu, Xiang Yongzhen. And My report consists of five parts. First, background and motivation. Second, the idea of rotational EXO differential rectangle cryptanalysis. Third, the extension of distinguishers. Fourth, verification. And finally, summary. Similar ciphers generalize the structure of Siemens round function with different parameters including Simon and CMAG. The Siemens key schedule is linear, while CMAG's key schedule reuses the run function. Simon-like ciphers only use bitwise operations and EXO and cyclic rotation. Rotational EXO curve analysis was first proposed and applied to SPEC by Usher in 2016. RX Curve analysis is a generalized rotational curve analysis that aims to address the effect of constants. Rx curve analysis considers the propagation of a data pair x x prime, where the data pair satisfy Rx difference. That is, the rotate lambda bits of x exo x prime is equal to the constant alpha. Later. Lu apply Rx cryptanalysis to Simulink ciphers. The results shows that the Simulink ciphers have a high probability of short Rx characteristics. Rectangle cryptanalysis is a combination of a differential attack, which is transited from boomerang cryptanalysis. It divides a cipher into a cascade of two subciphers, and we apply two short differential characteristics on each of subciphers. Sub in 2020, Gu proposed rotational EXO rectangle curvature analysis on wrong reduced semen. They replaced the differential characteristics with rotational EXO characteristics in the rectangle structure. For example, they used two eight round RX characteristics to construct Rx rectangle distinguisher of Siemens 32. However, the authors didn't do experiments to verify validity. And uh, since Rx characteristics are used in upper and lower parts of a rectangle, for ciphers with nonlinear key schedule, it results in very small key probability. That is, the weak key space is very small. We wonder 
what whether they, there is a better way to use the Rx characteristics in rectangle. So their work inspired us that what will happen if we consider the Rx and differential characteristics respectively in the upper and lower parts in a rectangle structure. In section two, I will introduce the idea and specific details of Rx DR group analysis. In order to increase the weak key class and eliminate the effect of key probability, we use a single key differential characteristic in the lower part and still use Rx characteristic in the upper part. We net K3 equals to K1, K4 equals to K2. Suppose we have an Rx characteristic R of the beta and differential characteristic gamma to delta. The upper part of the rectangle satisfies the Rx characteristic, that is P1 rotated by lambda bits dx or P2 equals to the constant alpha. P1 prime rotated by lambda bits dx or P2 prime equals to the constant beta. P3, P4 and P3 prime, P4 prime satisfy the same relations. The lower part satisfy the differential characteristic and then we have a conclusion. If P1 prime, P2 prime, and P4, P3 prime, P4 prime satisfy the Rx difference beta, and P1 prime EXO, P3 prime equals to gamma, then we have P2 prime EXO, P4 prime equals to the rotate lambda base of gamma. If there is a differential characteristic, the rotate lambda base of gamma to delta asterisk. Then we can construct the right quartet of the rectangle. We assume the probability of gamma to beta is p, gamma to delta is q, and the rotate lambda bits of gamma to delta asterisk is q asterisk. For random permutation, the probability of p1 ex p1 prime ex or p3 prime equals to gamma is negative the nth power of two then the probability of RxDR is the square root of p times selective nth power of 2 times q times q asterisk. To distinguish from random, we require that the square root of p times q times q asterisk is greater than the selective nth power of 2. From this formula, it's clear that the probability of RxDR characteristic can be improved in two ways. The first is to improve the square of p, and the second is to find the best q times q asterisk. For Simonac ciphers, we have some observations that make it easier to compute the probability of RxDR. We call it differential rotational variant property. Suppose that mu to v is a differential characteristic with probability q. Then the rotation of this differential characteristic is also q. And for any round differential characteristic also satisfies this property. Suppose there is a R round differential characteristic with probability q. Then the probability of the rotated differential characteristic is also q. According to this propositions, we can get a q equals to q asterisk. So we can simplify the probability of RxDR. For a right quartet, we require the square of p times square of q is greater than the elective nth power of 2. We have given the construction and probability calculation of RxDR. So the RxDR characteristic can be constructed based on the Rx and differential characteristic. The table shows the optimal RxDR characteristics for the small version of semen. As can be seen from the table, the optimal RxDR characteristics of semen 32, semen 48, 72, and semen 48, 69 are 13, 15, and 16 rounds. Similarly, we get the optimal RxDR characteristics for CMEX32 and CMEX48. 
Because the key schedule of CMAC is nonlinear, that is the key probability. The optimal RxDR characteristics for CMAC32 and CMAC48 are 15 and 20 rounds. In previous section, we get the optimal RxDR characteristics, but we use a single differential characteristic in the lower part. Since CMAC ciphers have good differential clustering effect, we want to extend our distinguishers by differential clustering effect and multiple differentials. Suppose the lower part have n differential characteristics with the same input and output difference gamma and delta. Then the probability of i differential characteristic is qi and summing this all differential characteristics, then we can get a differentials gamma to delta with probability q prime. The probability of RxDR distinguishers is improved to this. And the RxDR distinguisher can only focus on the differences of ciphertext by considering all intermediate differentials. We use multiple differentials and require these differentials share the same output difference. We consider the nth power of two of multiple differentials. The i's differential is gamma i to delta, and its probability is qi prime. Adding all this up, we get a new probability of RxDR distinguisher. We make the sum equals q to q tilde. Next, I will describe how to calculate Q tilde. For semi like ciphers, since encryption is identical to decryption, this shows that these two differential characteristics have the same probability. So for given output difference, that L that R, we can use that R that L as the input difference to calculate the probability of multiple differentials. In 2021, the RAND proposed differential transition matrix to calculate the probability of differentials. The general idea is to consider only the lowest omega bits of each branch. So the scale of differential transition matrix is reduced. Based on the method, we designed the algorithm to compute Q2. First, we fix the output difference that are the L, omega, and round. Then we calculate the differential transition matrix according to the difference propagation rules of similar ciphers. And then use that R, that L as the input difference to calculate the R round DTM. And finally, calculate the best differential probabilities QB and Q tilde. Now, the problem is to find the output difference at the input of the algorithm. We first compare the differentials with good differential clustering effect and find the Hamming weight is generally small. So we use some difference with low Hamming weight of optimal differential characteristics. By applying this difference to algorithm for seeming Simon 32 and Simon 48, we choose these two output difference. We fix the window omega as 16 and 17. We got the results. Comparing with the seven rounds optimal differential characteristics of Simon 32, the, prob the probability improves from the negative 28 to negative 23.79. Combining with the previous Rx characteristics, we get better RxDR distinguishers. After applying differential clustering effect and multiple differentials, the round of different distinguishers improves by one to three rounds. For CMAC32 and CMAC48, we choose these two good output difference using the same value of omega. Also, comparing the seven-round optimal differential characteristic 
the probability improves from the lecture of 28 to lecture of 23.76. We get the RxDR distinguishes for CMAC, which extends the round of RxDR by one round compared to the previous. Under the assumption of subsiver independence, we have found some RxDR distinguisher in theory. Uh, next, we need to experimentally verify the distinguishers. For an RxDR distinguisher, assume that the input Rx difference is alpha and the output difference is delta. Normally, to verify the distinguisher, we first need to choose the plan text to satisfy the input Rx difference and the key to satisfy the corresponding Rx difference. And then find the number of plan text that ciphertext satisfy the output difference after encryption. That is C1 EXO C3 equals to delta and C2 EXO C4 equals to the rotation of, a, of delta. But since P1 and P3 are independent of each other, take C32 as an example, the complexity of choosing the plan text is the 64th power of 2. Too much complexity in practice. Suppose we just fix the difference between C1 and C3 as delta. Choose the ciphertext C1, we get a C3 according to the difference relation. And then decrypt afterwards to get the plan text P1 and P3. We can get P2 and P4 based on the Rx difference relation. And encrypt to get the ciphertext P2 and C4. Finally, compute the number n of plan text pairs satisfy C2 EXO C2, C4 equals to the rotation of delta. The complexity in this case is the 32nd power of 2. The base to satisfy the number of plan text pairs is the same for the both methods. Then the experimental probability is n divided by 64th power of 2. We verify the distinguishers for Siemens 32 and Siemens 32. We repeated the experiment the 10th power of 2 times, randomly choosing the 10th power of 2 keys. For 14, 15, and 16 rounds, RxDR distinguishers. On average, this pass of plan text satisfy the distinguishers. So we can calculate the experimental probability. We compare the theoretical and the experimental probabilities and show that experimental probability are larger than the theoretical probabilities, which may be due to the some dependence between the subsiders. Finally, we compare our distinguishers with the differential Ix and Rx rectangle distinguishers. The distinguisher of C32 is longer than the optimal differential and Rx distinguishers. The distinguisher of C4869 is longer than the optimal Rx distinguisher and as long as the best differential distinguisher. For CMAX32 and CMAX48, Neither of our distinguishers is as long as the Rx distinguishers. But comparing the Rx distinguisher with the same, same number of rounds, the weaker key class is larger. For example, the 16 rounds distinguisher of CMAC32 has a full key space, while the Rx distinguisher has a weaker key class of 36 power of 2. Finally, this paper focuses on the application of Rx and the differential character analysis to rectangle attack. Our results give some new insights to into the security of block ciphers, especially and Rx ciphers. These are some literatures cited in the last slides. My speech is over. Thank you for listening. 
a very quick small questions about the your past talk. Uh, maybe I think uh, the attack result is uh, only distinguishing attack. So is it possible to extend this idea to the key recovery attack? Uh, mm, I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so the, I think as the, so maybe multiple branch and yes, strategy, sir. then for me, it's non trivial to add the key recovery. So even if we find the nice differential characteristics, so <laughs> I think it's that this is my question. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone else? Okay, and yeah, my question is also quick. So, so you got an uh, uh, reduction in time or in the running time of the SAT solvers, but uh, do you have a uh, formula for how many, uh, the how much time could would be reduced depending on the parameter or sort of the number of the branch? Oh, yeah. You, you, yeah, you, you got an uh, reduction for almost ninety nine percent. In case of the all sorts, right? So, but then, uh, yeah, I wonder if there is any uh, formula to derive the theoretical, yeah, uh, amount of the time that could be reduced. Uh, or, or if there is any, yeah, <laughs> clue to get an uh, yeah, idea to get an, uh, yeah, how many times could be reduced, uh, yeah, in theoretically. Yeah, I, I will, would like to hear your idea. So what can I say? No. So you you reduce the number of the number of the sat uh, number of the <laughs> time for the uh, sat server running, right? And uh, yeah, for example, so if you can tell something uh, how uh, many sat number of the sat server would be reduced before or yeah without doing the experiment so is that it is it or possible to uh, predict the number of the reduced number uh, yeah how many uh, sat server would, would be need to run before mm -hmm. doing the experiment or not <laughs> sorry <laughs> My question uh, may be complicated. So. <laughs> mm. well, just my English skill. <laughs> <laughs> so all results are an experimental so far, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I don't feel theoretically you know mm, reason. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, for example, this yeah, yeah this yes. shows that the number of the SAT server run uh, yeah, runtime is significantly reduced from yeah, the yeah, yeah. general method. But I have no idea why this has been achieved, and uh, and uh, if we, yeah, you can tell the uh, reason why yeah <laughs> this reduction in yeah, um. yeah. and I would appreciate. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we, we can go offline. <laughs> <Talks. Yeah>, so <laughs> it's <sorry>. difficult <laughs> to answer. Yeah. So. Hey, uh, thank you for your talk. Uh, just a quick question as well. So, if I understand correctly, in your approach, you uh, look at the probability of the different roles for each of the branches independently. And then uh, I'm just not sure how you combine them in the end. Uh, can you just go back to this quickly? Mm, so, sorry? So uh, if I understand correctly, you start by computing the probability of the different roles for each of the branches independently, right? And then how do you combine this uh, into the probability of the different roles um, with the XOR of the branches? Oh, combine. And, mm. Uh, 
I construct the differential characteristic in uh, by combining the differential characteristic uh, found for each uh, branch in step two. Uh, So you get the yeah. optimal differential for each of the branches and then you just XOR the uh, output differences together uh, to, to get the differential for the whole uh, scheme. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, uh, so, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, no worries, we can talk about it offline. Uh, just wanted to understand better. But, uh, 